Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the ProPhase Remote HMI software, but more specifically exporting and importing server lists. Well, to start off, let's say we have a ProPhase HMI connected to a PLC or one or more devices. We are connected via Ethernet to a wireless network or even the Internet. If I have a tablet, smartphone, or other iOS or Android device, you can use Remote HMI to remotely view and control one or more HMIs. In fact, these HMIs could be at different facilities throughout the world. Now, aimed primarily at mobile devices, we can create a server list, a list of all the HMIs we want to remotely view. In fact, this list can become huge. You can have up to 100 servers or HMIs compiled in the list. Okay, so I have this list of servers set up on my device. What happens if I buy a new mobile device? or I want to share my list with somebody else. I don't think anybody wants to sit down and type in manually up to 100 server configurations into a new phone or tablet. But that's okay. We have a solution. We can export the server list as an XML file. We can take that file to our new device, import, and we're done. All the connection data goes into the XML file. So the only configuration data that does not is any of our saved passwords that we had in the remote HMI app. Now this is kind of obvious for security reasons. You don't want your, your file accidentally getting into the wrong hands, containing all your passwords for all your processes across the planet. Not good. So the passwords are not included. So here we are with uh, my iPad showing on my desktop. I'm using the uh, Apple AirPlay functionality to be able to bring this up and show it on the screen. If I want to go ahead and export the, this list of uh, HMIs I've got configured here, I can go export, and there it is. It just created the XML file for me. So now, the only problem with iPads is trying to get the file off of them. You can either download a program which can browse the files on the iPad, and then I've never found it very easy, but get that file off the iPad somehow. But the easiest way is to go to your iTunes, and in your iTunes software, when you plug your iPad in, I've got my iPad plugged in via USB into my computer here, and I go to iPad, then to Apps. If you scroll all the way down the bottom, you'll see Remote HMI, and there's that server info XML file that we've been referring to. Now, this is live with the iPad, so if I actually click on this file, I hit the Delete key on my computer to delete that file, it's gone. If I go back over to my iPad, and I do an export, you can see, okay, and I go back to my iTunes software, there it is, it's back up again. So it is in fact live. So when you delete things or add things here, it goes immediately on your iPad, assuming it's already plugged in, of course. So there's no need to hit the, the sync button down here. Now once I've got it in here, if I want to share it with somebody, I just merely use the save to, choose a folder, select and that's it. The file's been put in there. In fact, here's the folder over here, and there's the server file. Now, obviously, when I want to bring that file back in, I can just follow a, you know, a similar process. If I want to, I can delete the file that's already there, hit the add, choose the file. Maybe somebody gave me this file. Open. It's already onto my unit. And to prove that I can bring that in, I can go ahead and delete my units that are on here. Delete delete and I can go ahead and import this time I'm not sure I want to do this okay and boom the files are back in so fantastic 